What's up everybody? My name is Tony Mosey and today I want to give you a six month follow up from the first video on my thoughts and experiences on seed probiotic. So I want to give you uh, this follow up, you know, from that time that I did the very first video. If you haven't checked it out, please check it out. Um, uh, you know, the previous video was on basically the details of the product, uh, you know, uh, and I talked a little bit about how I felt within that first 30 month, uh, 30 days, you know, uh, first month of using seed. Um, but today I want to go over four things now that I've been using it for a little over six months. So first thing I want to, I want to talk about the logistical aspect of, uh, of this, uh, of seed. Second, I want to talk about how I feel. Third, I want to talk about how I felt eating on an empty versus partially, if not full stomach and what I was able to uh, consume and not consume. And then lastly, leading to my speculations of seed. So uh, two to four basically can be somewhat relatable, but uh, they actually are slightly different in their uh, in the approach. So let's see here. So first, logistics. So I, I initially, in my first video, I had com uh, complained about the frequency of shipments. I was getting way too many seed uh, probiotic pills that I had to triple up on my daily dosage just to make sure I got the most freshest of orders. But some days I was not taking them, so they started to pile up. So I'm happy that Seed now has allowed customers to change between shipping dates, billing, and frequency. Because uh, some days and weeks you might forget to take it. I mean, for me, I was traveling, uh, you know, in and out. Sometimes, you know, uh, sometimes I forget to take it, uh, especially if it's recommended to take on an empty stomach. Sometimes I just want to get up and go straight to eating and I forget. Uh, and I'll talk a little bit about those experiences too uh, on the empty and full stomach. So, uh, so how I felt just day to day, just by taking it, right? Taking those two supplements a day that they recommend. If I think about the day to day, right? Um, and how I feel, I'm going to be honest. I don't feel anything different. You know, but I want to talk soon about how uh, my third and fourth points tie into this, this area of how I feel. But as far as feeling, you know, during the day, I don't I don't see any difference. There, I don't sense any difference uh, right now and going into the six month. Maybe it's because I got into a groove, but I don't really you know, I don't feel any extraordinary uh, feelings from a day to day uh, standpoint other than the next points I want to bring up. And that is eating on an empty versus partially or full stomach and what I could consume versus not consume and how I felt from that. So breaking it down between an empty stomach and a partially full or full stomach on an empty stomach, I feel great. Uh, you know, uh, Basically, the effects that people have talked about with this supplement where they feel, you know, uh, stomach aches or whatever. They felt nauseous, blah, blah, blah. I don't feel that when I am consuming this on an empty stomach. OK, um, example. So I try to uh, remind myself to take it super early in the morning. Like if I don't have to wake up till eight in the morning, I'll take that at five or six. I'll just get up, take it and go to bed, go back to bed. For those next two hours because now it's in my stomach and this is my thought maybe because i haven't done the full research about what's going on should i be awake while this is digesting should i can i be asleep while digesting i don't know but i try to at least give myself enough hours after i've eaten right you know the last time i'll eat is a 6 or 8 p.m and then i'll eat maybe 12 hours later right which will be when i break my fast because you know you're always fasting when you're not eating uh and so if I want to eat right at a certain time, I'm going to just wake, you know, if I wake up, take it and go to sleep. And now I have about an hour, two hours, maybe four hours till then to allow it to just digest, to, to let, let it do its thing. Now, 
When I consume it on a partial, partial or full stomach, I feel nauseous. I feel nauseous. Uh, and I get slight pains in my stomach. Like I remember I was going to the gym after I consumed something and then I took the probiotic and I'm like, oh my God, this sucks. Um, but I notice, however, it's what I consume. So if I consume something, it's uh, like basically the pain is normally and the nausea is normally worse after I've consumed something with carbohydrates, added sugar, or something that already has its natural sugar in it, like fruit. Okay, so basically I noticed that carbohydrates definitely give more of the severe feeling of nausea and the, and the feel in the pains in the stomach and the, and the stomach ache and, you know, all that stuff. Um, I wouldn't necessarily feel that with the proteins, but nevertheless, I do try to remind myself to not eat anything whatsoever. However, if I do consume something, uh, it would be through supplements like magnesium and zinc and Fidogia agrestis, uh, and probably because those are, you know, can be taken without food. So it's not like crazy on the stomach, right? I noticed that when I take supplements, because even if you think about seed probiotic, it's a supplement, right? I mean, you could call it a probiotic, but it's a supplement as well, right? It's a supplement. And when I take supplements that say, please consume this with food, I feel the same way like i get a stump or at least i get a, a i get a pain in my stomach all right i get a pain in my stomach and it sucks until i eat something so it's almost like the reverse seed probiotic like if i eat something if if when you eat something with seed you're gonna you're gonna feel nauseous you're gonna have the stomach ache with the supplements if you don't eat something except especially the ones that say please eat with food you're gonna feel something like pains and stomach ache and maybe even nausea so what I can consume are those and then also pure electrolytes like potassium and sodium. Basically electrolytes like element electrolytes, like raw, that flavor, which has no sugar in it. If you even get one gram of sugar, perhaps that could do something to you. So I'll share a link to an electrolyte that I use if you're considering it, if you want that. Um, I think it's amazing because it allows me during my fasts to continue prolonging as I exercise uh, uh, lightly to moderately during a fast. Uh, it just helps me just to get those uh, natural electrolytes that I need. Or even after I've had, even, even if I'm eating, I'll take those electrolytes because, hey, it's good to have some electrolytes in your system, right? You need it for functioning. And then another thing I can consume while on seed, and I had, haven't had an issue, is black coffee. Um, I would do um, uh, bulletproof coffee. Maybe it's because it doesn't have the mold that other coffees I heard have. You know, Starbucks, if you get it out of a bag, or Dunkin' Donuts, if you get it out of a bag, it could be like have, has mold or some crap in it. But nevertheless, when I have it black, I don't have those issues. But I will definitely say I did ha there has been once where I did the Starbucks one black and I had issues. So, um, electrolytes and um, supplements like zinc and magnesium, Fidogia agrestis, which is for men, you know, or at least it's a testosterone booster. Um, the things that's, that the back of the label says, hey, please, you, you can consume this without food or with or without food. That's been fine, all right? Now, um, I've taken these um, while on intermittent and prolonged fasts, and I've had no issues. So basically, you know, intermittent or fasting is basically where you just don't eat, all right? Uh, you know, fasting could be anywhere between, some could philosophize and say eight hours, but at least a minimum of 12 hours could be definitely uh, one that could be part of an intermittent fast. And then there's a prolonged fast that is anywhere above 24 hours, right? Where you're not eating. And I normally do fast between 48 to 72 hours. And I've had no issues. My regime would be at fast. And then in the morning, I would take a seed probiotic with my zinc and uh, my Fidogia agrestis, you know, the things I could take without food, along with my electrolytes and no problems. So super happy that I can fast and have a seed probiotic and have no problems. So this leads me into my final area, my speculations on seed. So my next feeling is, 
you know, here's another feeling that ties into from number two to number three to this final point here. Uh, is seed might be the main reason why I am healed of my lactose intolerance for the past decades. So for the past bit decades, I have not been able to eat cow dairy. So if you think about it, cheese, milk, ice cream, sour cream, butter, etc. I haven't been able, able to eat that since I was 18. And for many years from my teens all the way to my adulthood, basically, uh, but as of 2023, moving forward, 2024, I can finally say that in these years, uh, I have healed my gut and made it stronger to consume cow products. And I can owe it partially, if not majority of being able to eat cow dairy products with no brain fog, no diarrhea, no feeling of ha hangover, you know, no hangovers thanks to seed. So there is a benefit to taking seed. That has, that I think can be the one stark, you know, like the one obvious thing, the feeling that I've gotten, the ultimate benefit is that I can consume lactose products. I can consume cow products and not feel like crap. So I will definitely owe that to seed. Now, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, please. So we can boost this movement of probiotics and healthy guts to everyone who's watching out there and potential watchers out there. And please comment in the description below if you had the same experiences. If not, what have been your other experiences with seed? What have you noticed? But I really appreciate your time. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you soon. Take care.